Hey guys, happy weekend. I hope everyone has had a great week. Um, I'm just so excited to have some time off here this weekend just to kind of relax and catch up on some filming. Um, I wanted to hop on today and share a Scentsy wax haul. Um, and then I do have kind of a random like product as well that I did add on to my order. Um, but mainly this haul was focused on Scentsy bars, like the ones you see in front of you here. Um, I got nine bars. I think I did like the bundle and save. So I got the six pack and then the three pack. Um, there was just some scents that I've been wanting to try. And I really wanted just to focus on the catalog itself. Um, I feel like Scentsy always has limited time offers like wax bars, wax, um, uh, like wax collections, things that come out like limited time only. And like, I feel like because it's limited time only, I'm always like sucked in and like wanting to order them and try them because they're not going to be around like for so long. But I feel like sometimes that that steers me away from like the main catalog itself. And I feel like I've heard other people say that too. And I'm like, I thought about it as well. Like there's some scents in this spring summer catalog that have been around since I've started ordering Scentsy, which has only been like a couple years. I started ordering Scentsy in 2021, but some of these scents have been around and I just have yet to try them. Some of these are ones that I have tried and I just wanted to repurchase for the spring and summer season, but I don't know. I feel like I've been like neglecting the catalog sometimes, like especially the spring and summer. And I just really wanted to focus on some scents that I haven't actually tried that I've heard a lot of good things about. So um, we have six bars here that are new to me scents. And then these three here on the side are ones that I have tried that I do enjoy. So I think I'll probably start with those three just because, yeah, I have tried them. So I do obviously enjoy them. I did repurchase them. So the first one here... This is Rainbow Sherbert. This one I know is very popular. It's like a fan favorite. I'm actually shocked. I thought this was like a bestseller, but it doesn't say it in the catalog. So I don't know why. I thought this was a bestseller. Um, but this one has notes of orange, zest, sugared strawberry, and key lime. This is like, how cute is the packaging first off? But this scent is just so fun. It's zesty, it's fruity, it's just bright. It's like summer in a bar to me. And that's what the wax looks like. The color, very fun. But yeah, this literally smells like rainbow sherbet. To a T, to my nose at least, that's what it smells like. Oh, it's so pretty. Just so fruity and like vibrant. This is going to be so nice for summer. So I'm happy to have another bar to warm and enjoy. And I've actually heard people, I think it was Charity mentioned this. I think she said you can warm... I think she tried it. Rainbow Sherbert with Cocoa Lime. And I feel like I'm going to try that combo. I feel like I've heard it's pretty good. So I think I will try that because I did get a bar of Cocoa Lime as well. So I'm excited to try that combo. I think it'll smell really good. Um, but yeah, this is just fun. It's fruity. Delicious. Cannot wait to, to try that again. Um, yeah, we got the next one here, which is Pink Rhubarb Sugar. This one is just an absolute favorite of mine. I have found ever since last season when this, or not last season, but last summer, like spring and summer when this scent became available, I have been all about this scent. I remember trying it just to kind of, just to test it out. I didn't really think I was going to enjoy it much, but I really do love this one. Um, so this one has notes of, let's see, it's got pink rhubarb, a sparkling raspberry, and a scoop of sugar. It's just sweet. It's got a little tart to it, I think, from the rhubarb. And of course, like the raspberries are sweet. Yeah, it's just so good, you guys. So this is the wax on this one. This one is kind of a little juicy, I've noticed. This one is, I think out of all of them, this one is kind of the most like sweaty. Oh my God, but this is so good. And I remember sniffing these with my husband and he loved this one as well. Yeah, it's just so sweet. And like it is, 
it is tart and I just I love that like about it I think I like that like tart note from the rhubarb it's just it blends so well it's just so fun it's just pretty I like it really really good I remember it being a good performer so I wanted to get another bar of that and then we got the cocoa lime as well and this one, I remember when I ordered in 2021 and I was trying like new scents out. I remember people raved about this scent. So I tried it back in 2021, but I haven't had a bar of it since. So I knew I wanted to get more. So Coco Lime has notes of coconut milk, creamy vanilla, and fresh lime. And I just, I love a lime. I just, yeah, I think if you like citrus, you probably would like this one, especially because it's like creamy, it's coconut. It's just like a nice summer staple. Yeah, this is so pretty. And that's the color of the wax on that one. But it's just, to me, it's more creamy. Like the lime is kind of in the background here to my nose, but you still get that lime. Like it's a good balance of everything. It's really, really good. So yeah, I'm going to test out some of this with the Rainbow Sherbert and kind of give that a whirl, see how that goes. But we got a cocoa lime to add it to our summer uh, roundup here, and we'll try that. Okay, so let me go to the next section here. These ones I separated by, like, kind of being new to the catalog or new this season. So we have these two on the bottom that are from the new releases, and then we have a scent of the month. So I don't have the specific notes for the scent of the month, um, but this one is like another bakery, which is exciting. I guess, you know, it's nice to have an addition of bakery to the catalog and just to, you know, to Scentsy in general right now, because I know their uh, bakery category is definitely a little slim at this time for this season. So it's nice to have another addition that we can, you know, try out and enjoy. I know me being a bakery lover, I love to have some good options. So I was excited to see this offered as a scent of the month. So this one I know is pretty much just like strawberry, lime, and I think buttercream. And to me, that's pretty much what it smells like. I maybe get a hint of like a cake note, but I don't know if that's just like, like if that's just like my mind playing tricks on me, because I don't really think there's cake in the scent notes. I'm pretty sure it's just buttercream. I mean, but it still smells really good though. I enjoy it. I think it smells nice. It's a little bit on the lighter side, so we'll see how this one performs on warm. But I do think this will be a nice option for like spring and summer, like a nice bakery because it's not super heavy. It's just kind of like a lighter, fruity, extra sweet buttercream scent. So yeah, this will be a nice one to try. So I look forward to trying that. Um, and then we have these two from the new releases. So the first one here is I think the one that I've heard so many people rave about. Um, I think just it kind of being a surprise. I don't know. I feel like this is one of the ones that like in the beginning when I heard about these scents, I wasn't really like, I don't know. I wasn't really like excited about this one. But now that everyone's raved about it, I am excited. <laughs> so that's why I decided to pick this one up. Um, so this one is Mountain Sunset. This has notes of Wild Bluebell, Warm Woods, coconut and golden amber I feel like this one will be a nice just kind of like almost makes me think of like a cozy bedroom melt and I feel like people have said it's a good you know bar to warm in that kind of space so I think that's where I'll try this one to start with um so yeah and I love the color of the wax too this is probably like my favorite color of all of these bars it's stunning it's like what a periwinkle so pretty this is really, really nice. I do like this. I'm really excited that I've grabbed a bar because to be honest with you, at first I wasn't really leaning towards getting this one, but I do really like this. And this is part of the fresh category. It's really, really pretty. That bluebell, you get that for sure. And I feel like I get like a hint of that golden amber, probably of the coconut I'm assuming is like the creamy kind of note in here. But it's really pretty. It's kind of unique. I think this will be a good one to try and just kind of step out of my comfort zone a little bit. I don't normally like get scents a ton that have like amber and stuff in it. So this will be a nice one. 
I think it's just kind of pretty. I think it'll be nice for spring and something new to kind of, again, step out of my comfort zone with. So I'll try this in my bedroom, but I think it's going to be really good. We shall see. And then the next one here, I think was probably the one that stood out to me out of all of the new releases. And that one is Soak and Rays. This one is like very, very bright yellow. <laughs> Um, so Soak and Raise, it has notes of Mandarin, Orange Flower, and Ocean Air. And I've heard this one is kind of like comparable to like a tanning oil and stuff. I have already smelled these before, so I can agree to that. It does smell like kind of like a sunscreen or a tanning oil. And this one reminds me, there was a candle from Bath and Body Works. I can't even for the life of me remember what it was. But there was a scent that I remember I had in a candle probably back in like 2015, 2016, like a long time ago. And it smelled just like this. It was like a tanning oil, kind of beachy. Oh my God, it was so good. But I don't remember what the name of that candle was, but I feel like Bath and Body has had a scent comparable to this one, but this is so good. If you like um, sunscreen scents, tanning oil scents, just very beachy you would love this. It literally smells like a hot summer day in a bar to me. Like you're out in the sun, you know, getting some sun and you just have like that sunscreen on or just that like oil. Oh, it's so fun. It's so pretty. I hope it's a good performer. We'll see how this one goes. But I think for summer, this is going to be really, really nice. So soak and raise. And then moving on to these three bars. These three bars are bars that have been in the catalog. Um, one of them was from a limited time offer last year, I believe. And then the other two have been in the catalog and I just have not tried them yet. I don't know why, but we're going to try them and I'm so excited to finally try them. So the first one is uh, Pina Colada Cha Cha, which I swear to God, I've heard so many people rave about this scent and I do love like a pineapple scent I love a pina colada scent so I don't know why it's taking me so long to try this one um so pina colada cha-cha has notes of coconut pineapple white rum and vanilla bean and it's the yellow packaging and then the wax is white but oh my god it smells so good you guys it does. It smells so good. And you get that rum note. Like this literally smells legit like a pina colada. But the rum is not like over the top, like super alcohol. I can't explain it. Like you get it, but it's not that bad. I mostly just get the pineapple and that creamy coconut. Oh, it's so fun. We'll see how this one performs. Um, on cold, it's not super, super strong, but I definitely, you know, I feel like on warm, I feel like this will be a nice one. I just feel like a lot of people have raved about this, so, and it keeps coming back, so I feel like it's got to be a decent one if it keeps coming back. So, Pina Colada Cha Cha. Um, the other one that I wanted to try that was pineapple was Pineapple Pucker, but I know that one is not in the catalog this season, so this was kind of like the next, next best thing. I wanted to get a pineapple, so this is the Pina Colada Cha Cha. And then let me grab these two. Okay, so this next one is By the Sea. And this one, let me, I think this is obviously part of like the fresh category, I would assume. Yes. Oh, okay. And this is apparently a bestseller. I didn't realize. So By the Sea, this has notes of ocean air and dewy seagrass, like seaside grass. So this one is absolutely stunning. Oh my God, yeah. It's, to me, it's like salty. It's just almost slightly aquatic and green. Like this, I think is gonna be so good in the summer. Oh, it's so, so fresh. If you like, like dewy greens in wax, you will definitely like this one. Um, I think it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm happy to just finally try that one. So that one is By the Sea. And then the last one. I am so excited that this came back into the catalog. This was a limited time like offer bar that was out for Easter, I think last season, like last Easter season. So like 2022. 
So this one is lemon drizzle cake. And this one has notes of lilac sugar, vanilla icing drizzle, and lemon butter cake. And I remember being so curious about this one. I just never brought myself to order. I didn't order any of the Easter bars last year. But this one, out of all three of them, definitely stood out, to, you know, to me as being like the most... I don't know, the most probably me type of scent because it's bakery and I do enjoy lemon bakery. So I'm also intrigued as well because this one has lilac sugar in it and I love lilac in a floral. Like that's one of my favorite floral notes. Oh, it's so good, you guys. I really like this. Oh my God, I think it's delicious. And I do get the lilac ever so slightly. And I've heard it does come out on warm as well. Yeah, I think it's absolutely beautiful. So I am really, really excited that this came back. I never thought it would, but we got pretty surprised this season, I feel like, with some of the ones that like went away and then now they like are back. I feel like they kind of... I don't know, like some of the limited time offer ones, like I know like the um, Chase Rainbows collection, two of those came back. Um, some of the, what was that other one? Like the, um, that like vitamin collection, like there was like vitamin R, vitamin I, like those, one of those came back. Like a lot of like limited time offer scents, I feel like did come back this season, which is kind of fun. This being one of them. So very happy this came back so I could actually try it. And I think I'll enjoy it. I don't know. We'll see on warm. Obviously, I have not, I haven't tried it. Um, but I, I just, I thought I had to get it, especially if it came back. So that is my tiny wax haul here. I just wanted to get some scents I haven't tried and some other favorites. Um, yeah, we'll see. I may or may not place another order at some point, but I think I should probably reel it in a little bit. I don't need any more wax, but of course... I get sucked in. I can't help it. Um, but the only other thing I did get with this order was kind of like a random addition, but I did really want to try this product and that is a Scentsy Fresh. So I got it in Magnolia Linen. Um, I've heard people talk about this one, like this scent being really pretty. I thought maybe for spring and summer, this would be a good option. Um, that Scentsy Fresh is basically like an odor eliminating like spray. It's kind of like a Febreze, but like Scentsy's version of it. And we do have a Febreze right now, but it's almost gone. So that's why I decided to pick this up and I haven't actually tried the Scentsy Fresh. So we'll see how it goes, but I've heard good things and I am excited to try the scent because I know it's, I know it's been in wax before, but it's not in wax currently. So we'll test it out in the Scentsy Fresh and yeah, that'll be something new to try. So that is my Scentsy haul, a recent haul for spring and summer. Um, if you guys have any of these bars and you've tried some of these, what do you think of them? Let me know what your thoughts are on some of these. Um, I hope you guys are having a great weekend, a great start to the weekend here. Um, but I happy April now that I'm thinking about it. It is April 1st when I'm filming. So happy April. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye guys.